Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I am going to explain that how can we create Angular login page and also once we clicked on the submit button means whatever the user input provided by the user like username and the password those also we can validate from the database so as here we are going to talk with the database means we need to talk with some backend applications we are not able to directly integrate from the angular to the database right so for that here in the from the front end side we are going to create one login applications using angular 18 and also we are going to integrate rest apis for that in a backend we are going to write some apis in a spring boot application and that api we are going to talk from this angular application so first of all we need to understand the front end part and then we will understand the back end part so from the front end wise as you are a new with the angular so first of all you need to install the node module into your local node.js from the like uh, google you can easily find out that node one and you just need to install into your local machines if you are not able not install the node one then you are not able to using the angular one okay so i have already like installed the node uh, over here and then so i have created this application using the angular like ng new and then we need to give the project name so after that it will give us the all the ready-made project over here okay we can start this application by like uh, ng sub so once we have run this one okay let us open the add some command prompt over here now if we start this application using the ng sub so it will take some time to building this application and uh, from the browser we can see the output so it will take some time to start it once it will start then uh, like uh, it will start the project in a localhost 4200 you can see over here so you can see once it is loaded then uh, we can see this page okay we can like modify the page and all like here this uh, page basically you can see this page is basically responsible to so we need to delete this one okay we need to delete this page all the content over here so what we need to add over here basically we need to add the router outlet okay router outlet we need to add okay so let me stop this one for the timing so now as we need to add the login module over here so we need to like uh, let me add another command prompt over here terminal so we need to add some component over here okay so how we are going to add this component so for that there is another command we don't need to create those html file css file manually we just need to run the command and it will automatically create all the files for us like ng then generate then component okay so where we need to create this component so for that components like under this folder basically we need to create this component like login okay so once we create this one then it will automatically create that folder components and then it will you can see over here under the components it's uh, created this file okay one is the css another one is html spec file and the ts file here also you need to create uh, ng generate here we need to create the class okay where we need to create the means uh, we need to create the classes under the models folder okay so first one is the login request and another one is login response okay after that we need to create one service class ng generate service where we need to basically create under the services folder here 
we need to create one integration service basically it will actually talk with the like that spring boot api is whatever we are going to create over here so that actually api so here we need to write that logic under this integration service okay so let's like write this uh, first of all uh, we need to write this one so for communicating with the external services what we need we need to use the http http client http client we need to use okay it's not coming why it is not coming private http http client yeah this client okay so basically wh whenever we are going to talk with some external we need to call the external apis so basically we need to use the http client so let us now create some methods over here so let's say do login so here we need to pass the request so the request will be login request okay so after that we need to use the observable over here okay and then here we need to define that what response we are basically expecting so it will let's uh, that login module actually basically we are expecting it to return the login response then from here we need to use the return this dot http dot obviously it will be a post request and then we need to use the login response then here basically we need to use the api url like what url basically we need to call and then we need to use the request okay so now we need to define one constant file over here constant uh, constant we need to define over here so that we need to define that api url this will be the api url and this is the actually in this way basically we need to call the external services now from whenever we need to call this service particular this method we need to inject this service into the particular component or whenever typescript file we need to call this method directly we need to pass this request and as a response we will get this particularly response okay so now we need to defining the some like uh, properties under this request okay here so let's see it's having this username and password and in case of the response let's say we are in a response we are going to receive the token okay like maybe it's a jet jot token or something else now we are going to develop this uh, typescript file over here so in a typescript basically we need to use some kind of router and uh, first of all in a constructor here we need to defining a constructor and under that we need to use this integration service because from over here we need to basically we need to using this service we need to call the do login method right here we need to take one form like this user form basically that we need to defining over here so this actually we need to import and then form control using the form control basically we need to take the input that uh, whatever the input given by the user those input we need to kept under these two fields okay now here we need to defining that request here we need to defining the request login request and then here under that we need to defining the method so over here what we are going to do over here like uh, we just let me show you okay so under this do login method basically we will take the values from the form now let's say maybe if some user give the username and password is empty so on the same time we are not going to calling the database right we are not going to call the api because it's a not valid one so from here we can 
return something so that user can understand that username and password given by the user is not a valid so we are showing some kind of the alert message so it will actually give the user to the some pop-up so the user can understand instead of that there are some lot of ways to notifying the user that user can understand so i will show you gradually like how you are going to give that particular inline messages or some kind of some uh, uh, some other messages so the user can easily understand but here just to keeping the simplicity i am using the alert method over here so after that it will return now so let's say if both are valid then same time we are just preparing the request like here we are just setting the username and password we are just taking the value from the form now using the integration service we are calling the do login here we are passing the request and using the subscribe we need to take the response from the particular service so if it is next if it is success then we are just saying that particular token is received in case of any error we received then it will say that particular error is received okay now we just need to defining the html over here so here we are just uh, use some kind of css okay so let me use this html file over here so here if you see that uh, there is one parent uh, like uh, class and under the parent div we have using some container and this is the basically form where we are just keeping two input box one is the email like type either email or like it's a username another one is the password okay like whatever the username and password it will give and here you can see i am also providing some another options like remember me if you see the user if you choose the remember me means uh, the username and password will be kept uh, somewhere to store so that next time user don't need to put the details it will be auto populated the forget password and the register so currently i'm not implementing these are the functionalities only time being i'm focusing on the login functionalities once login is done then in the next i will like focusing on the other functionalities like register forget password and all the all the things but for the time being i am keep focusing on the do login api so now once the login button here is clicked so you can i have mentioned this on click actually it will call the do login method okay it's a button so now you can see it's a button so in under this do login basically we are keeping all the methods and all the things over here you can see under the do login actually basically we have defining all the things over here like we are taking the username and password from the user and we are calling the do login api from the like uh, from the spring boot applications so here we need to add some css over here so that the look and feel wise it looks good so i am adding this some css okay i will commit this code into the git so that uh, don't worry about it you guys can access it okay now if i start this application so okay before that uh, just uh, we need to add one we need to add the routing over here and under the config basically as we are using this uh, like http client so here we need to use this provider uh, provider http client this one we need to add else it will give us the exception that uh, uh, we need to add this one and here we need to defining the routing routing means like what will be the path basically it will be loaded like when default is there so let's say once the path is empty then it will be redirected to the login if it is a login then again it will be redirected to the login and what component it will be load it will load this login component okay now we can start this application so the application start it's a command is the ng sub okay so once it will start then i will explain about the backend part like this how this backend is uh, uh, means we can create so i've only created one basic simple application so here it's showing something like it's not able to do login recognize this methods actually so let us rename this one let's say it's a login and from html 
also you need to modify with the login okay still causing issues okay it's not able to understand okay so actually we need to use the reactive form module over here okay so once you have add this one then it will you can see that all the things build as passing now now from the browser we can see that it is coming or not so it's automatically actually reloaded once we have uh, done all the things and you can see that ui is coming now correct so now if you see that if you are click without a press means putting the email and password so it's showing the wrong credentials it's a alert pop up actually now let's say if we put something over here and now if we clicked on the login so then actually it's showing that not able to connect with this do login api over here because we have not started the spring boot application now we are going to focus on the spring boot application means from the angular part from the ui part it's ready now now this applications the angular application basically i've created over here you can see i provided the as mysql database i've used so this is the like uh, database over here you can see that one table got created that user currently there is a no data age mobile number password username address name and the username okay username is two times over here so i will rectify it so this is the definitions or this is the configurations for configuring or the connecting with the mysql database so here i have created one controller simple controller here i have created the do, do login is taking this request and this particular request is having this username and password now after that we are just calling this do login with this request and here just we are checking if it is present or not if user is able to find by username is find then it will show the user found else not found okay now if we go over here so you can see after that we are just sending the response and in a response we are getting this set token this one okay so there is nothing actually complex over here this is kind of very simple things we just need to start this application so that we can able to access this api from the angular front end so let it start it will be start on the 8080 port default port actually you can see the tomcat initialize on the 8080 port in 8080 port basically tomcat is started now if we open from the over here so you can see we are receiving the response in a network tab if you see we are getting the response actually right so means actually it's connected successfully now but if we do so like here actually user is also not able to understand that uh, how like it is connected successfully or not so for that what you can do so once like it's connected then maybe we can uh, like redirect to the like some another another path actually so for that let's say maybe we can uh, we can't uh, uh, redirect or maybe navigate to the another url let's say it's a maybe dashboard okay so we can create another component over here dashboard okay for the time being we are not going to like designing anything for the dashboard it will just uh, like dummy kind of thing so dashboard got created once it will succeed then here we are going to defining one router over here based on this router we can like navigate to the another page from one url to the another url so we need to defining this uh, like uh, router over here okay so let me add this router over here okay we need to add this inject module and then also router module over here and using this router using this router we can use this navigation one like this dot router here once it will success then we can say 
this dot router navigated by URL and here it's a dashboard path now saved it so once we have saved it means it will be automatically reloaded now here if if we pass some dummy username password and clicked on the login then it should be redirect to the okay what it is saying dashboard is okay why it is saying because we need to add over here the route in the routing basically we need to add this one okay like if it is a dashboard path then we need to use the dashboard component okay now again if we try this one you can see it modify it's uh, going to the dashboard URL right now and so the dashboard is works it's showing and here you can see we have received the response so this is the basically overall and uh, small part that how we are going to create the login applications using angular 18 and also how we are going to integrate with the backend part next what I will do next actually basically I will do uh, mod means actually tokenize things like we'll add the token and actually we'll receive the token from the backend and also we'll validate with the proper username and password so the username and password should be in the available in the database and accordingly it will be validate those user and authenticate those user okay so that will be i will cover in the next part so that's all actually about this if you guys have anything please do let me know in the comment section thanks for your time see you in my next videos bye bye